Now, after demonstrating about some theories about um, assignment operators, and I'm going to use C programs in order to demonstrate to you um, about the um, operators in C. Now, first, we're going to create uh, a project inside um, C. Uh, name this one, C, C project. This one, name it as, uh, make sure it's C project. This one, I want to name it uh, this one, still uh, session number um, two. This one is um, operators. Uh, then up, uh, we're going to copy this one, create a new folder, paste the name of the um, name of the project. For that folder, open, save this one. Is saving the project. We click on save once more to uh, save the main file. Okay. Now, um, as I explained, the first thing is the assignment operators that we got before. Um, this one is a PDF that I explained before. Mm, if you declare a variable, you can assign number 10 into uh, X, so you can declare in X, which is declaration of a variable. You can assign value number 10 to X. You can declare another variable Y, and then you can um, assign the values of um, Y equal to a variable X. You can also declare another the variable G and G equal to X plus Y. So on the uh, Left hand side is a variable, right hand side is a value, left hand side is a variable, right hand side is a variable, left hand side is a variable, and right hand side is an expression to be evaluated to be um, a variable. Then you can print out um, to display the set of values here x equal to uh, digit, um, y equal to y equal to another digit and g equal to another digit and make a new line you'll see x you'll see x y and j that one is for this one is for assignment operator if you compile and run this one you'll see x equal to 10 y equal to x equal to 10 and also g now equal to 20 because x plus y is 20 okay x plus y is 20 so um, what is the print app method i already um, taught in previous uh, lecture that one is about uh, that one is about this one is about the um, assignment operator now uh, uh, I'm going to also demonstrate about the um, arithmetic operator operator for multiplication uh, adding minus and is very simple and you will see I actually already used here uh, I'm just demonstrating the special cases which is for the uh, integer divisions uh, you have int a equal to 10 int b equal to you declare int a equal to 10 and int b equal to 3 and if you declare int c equal to 10 divided no sorry this is a divided by b and you're going to be um, print f um, uh, c equal to uh, modulus d or um, yeah just enough uh, then new line you'll see the c values is actually the c values is actually um, c here okay it, this one is called integer division because if you run and you execute this one 10 divided by 3 you are actually getting 3 it's not 3 point something okay you get 3 it's not 3 point something if you want to um, have the float values of this division you need to uh, declare a float f equal to first you need to cast the um, a value into float then you divide it by 3 then right now you're going to print f of the values is f equal to and this one is um, percentage f okay new line and from here you're going to and from here you're going to put the f values in and you'll see so if you execute this one if you execute this one, you'll see the values is different. It's three point something. Instead of three, it's three point something because this one is actually you divide the values as float, not as an integer. Okay, and I already explained to you what is the modulus already inside here. Okay, float division, okay, modulus already. We can test several of the modulus result. Let's say we have tested one of them, which is A modulus, B, uh, actually 10 modulus 3, and it's going to uh, get one here. So you're going to uh, test, um, no, you're going to declare int m equal to um, A modulus B, okay, and print f um, 
a print f a modulus b equal to another uh, digit a modulus b now um, if you need a modulus inside here because uh, as i explained before now the modulus d doesn't mean modulus d modulus d is a placeholder for um, a value to be placed in it modulus b is also uh, confusing but if you need a modulus you need to put doubles of the modulus because you really want a modulus you don't want a placeholder that's why you have to put double of the modulus here if you want a modulus to be displayed so this one you're going to put here is number m and you'll see that values a modulus b is actually one okay a modulus b is actually one that one is for um modulus operators next kind of operators is for comparison operators okay and this comparison operator is going to return true false values and as i said true false values is true values in size c it is actually um anything different from zero and normally they use one and false is zero okay so we're going to um, test the comparisons comparisons um operator comparisons um, now we're going to test the comparisons operators um, arithmetic is done okay comparison operators um, you can um, just try to um, declare in um, result equal to no just do directly the print up print of um, a greater to sorry, a greater than b equal to um, a values here this one is a new line this one I need to place a new line too okay then for this new line okay I'm gonna place the values of a greater than B inside it similarly you're going to uh, copy this one paste it for a, a greater than or equal smaller than smaller than or equal different from equal now if this one is a greater than or equal uh, this one is smaller than sorry this one is smaller than this one is smaller than or equal this one is to make it uh, if it's different this one is to check if they are equal so this one is you going to make it greater than greater than or equal smaller than then smaller than or equal then um, different then uh, equal okay if you execute this one you'll say if you execute this one you'll say um, if um, a greater than b mean 10 greater than um, 3 is 1 1 mean show okay similarly you have a greater than or equal to b equal to 1 means also show but a smaller than b mean 10 smaller than 3 is false okay a smaller than b mean 10 smaller than or equal b is phone so on so forth that 10 different from uh, 3 is true so on so forth okay so you can test that one and um for um for how to say for um logical operator okay for logical operator um you're going to test something like um again i'm just gonna simply use this one is working with um, true false values only so and it's going to return true false values as well so you're going to um, test the truth table okay you're going to test the truth table like um, print f and this one we're going to put um, true and true and in this in this case i'm just going to in this case i'm just going to declare int show equal to one and int false equal to let me just show then equal to uh, zero you can say true and true true and true equal to this one is another value slash and then this one you're going to place in true and true okay this one you're going to place in true and true this one you're going to place inside here true and true okay then uh then this one similarly you can test another one true and false um 
phones and show phones and phones show and phones okay uh, phones and show then phones and phones is this one is true and phones phones and true this one is phones and phones as you already tested before everything will return phones this one if any phones is inside the end operations okay it's going to be evaluated as phones but the only case is to be evaluated as true is the only case to be evaluated as true is both of the arguments inside these operators are true okay so if you run this one if you run this one you will see true and true is true but all of the others whenever you have some phones inside there it won't be able to as phones okay uh, similarly you can test also for um, or operators or operators okay so um, in or operators in c you're going to put this one or operators or operators or operators okay or operators okay or operators or operators okay this one is or operators or operators okay or operators this one is the or operators okay if you execute this one you will see uh, as uh, the truth type or i explained before um anything which involves true inside that is true okay so this one won't be true because it has one true this one also true because it has one true this one will be true because it has one true the only last one is phone because both of the elements are phones so you will execute this one you'll see okay um, uh, true or true is true true or phones is true um, phones um, phones or true is true only phones or phones is phones that one is the reason um, I also explained before that we do have other kinds of operators which is big wise operators but um, that one is not very frequently used and my purpose inside here is for anyone can cook and um, use most frequently um, used things so uh, I'm not gonna explain about I'm not gonna explain about um, the uh, I'm not going to explain about the um, big wise operators you if you want to you can just go and search and, and study by yourself Okay, I think that's it for the demonstration inside C.